Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the Urban Network Analysis plugin for Rhino. Um, and this tutorial covers the setup and running of the Centrality Indices Analysis. Right, so we should have um, opened Rhino um, and opened the file that we have set up. Um, so using either the PEDCATCH or the OSM um, road networks, so they should be there. Um, the buildings that you've either imported through um, OSM or found a different source from something like open source data. And also imported our um, fresh produce points that we looked at in the first tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do um, first, so we should have downloaded the UNA toolbar. Um, which there's instructions for on the internet. So our first step is to turn on our road network and select the add curves to network button um, with your left hand cursor. Click and drag to select all of the curves and press enter when you're done. So this is added all of our curves to the network. Next, we want to turn on our buildings um, and we'll select the add origin. So these are the places that people will leave from to get to a certain destination. So click, left hand click, add origins, click and drag to select all of your buildings, press enter and enter again. Um, so you can actually see if we turn the road network on, that this has um, joined all of our address points um, to the network. So it will turn both of those off. What I do find if you click on the graphic options, which is the multicolor circle, um, and then along here, if you click dot connections off and dot labels as well off um, and press enter, it just cleans things up a little bit. Um, you can always turn them back on if you feel like you need them. Um, so our next step is to go to fresh produce and these we're going to add as destinations. So the red um, add as destination, left hand click on that. So these are the points that people will be um, traveling to. Um, so we'll click and drag, select all, press enter and enter again, add them as destinations. So we'll turn all of our um, data back on um, and then we can actually run our first um, analysis. So if we click on the centrality index, oh sorry, in indices, um, it actually comes up with the pre-selection of all the origins that we have um, selected already. So we can press enter, and then our fresh produce comes up as the destinations because, because we've already assigned it as a destination. So press enter again. Now here, um, there's a certain types of um, analysis that can be done. I actually prefer to use the gravity. It's the most widely used um, form or the most popular form to use as opposed to straightness and reach. Um, so we'll leave gravity on and we'll type in 1500 as the search radius because 1500 meters is about a 20 minute work, walk for the average person. So if we type 1500 um, in and click enter, this will actually show um, your analysis. So what I find is if we leave the road network on but turn off the buildings and fresh produce, it gives a clear analysis. And then if we go to graphic options again and we go to colour, you can choose whether you want um, a rainbow, um, a red to blue, blue to red, orange to purple, green to red, red, white and blue, white to red, or blue, white, red, <laughs> or white, red. Um, so my favorite is the rainbow because it shows a bit more of a scale of um, closeness. Um, and one of the other things that I find it makes it easier to visualize is if you um, select dot size and type one, it actually can show all of our networks and the houses um, 
depending on how zoomed in you want to look at the analysis, but from a far out view, you can see quite clearly the houses that are quite close to all of our fresh produce and the dark blue are the ones that are quite far away. Um, should note that not all of the buildings have turned up. So the ones down here are outside the um, 1500 metres search radius. Um, so if we zoom in a bit more, you might want to change your dot size to something like four and it shows a bit clearer. Um, so it depends on what scale you want to use. Um, but yeah, there it is. That's how you can run a centrali centrality indices um, using urban network analysis. And this is the tool I've found um, most helpful when visualizing connectivity um, across an urban setting. So um, see some of my other tutorials on the urban network analysis um, and the next one will be on how to actually um, edit the, your network in Rhino.